This is a 35 millimeter film camera. This is also a 35 millimeter film camera. This camera is the Canon F1 and this kind of camera, the manual focus classic type camera is the common camera that you see on YouTube with a lot of film photographers. Old school manual focus film cameras aren't the only choice for film photography. For example, before Canon made DSLRs, they made film cameras in the EOS system with autofocus, such as this camera right here. The EOS lineup of film cameras, there are a couple that get covered a lot, and then there are a handful that don't get talked about much at all. And I have a collection of a few of these, and I want to start making videos on them, but I want your guys' input on which ones you want to see first, or which cameras you want me to talk about that you haven't seen videos on that you want to learn more about. One of the best things about the EOS film camera lineup is that nowadays you can find these used around $100 or much less depending on the model that you get. There are, there are a few exceptions. Uh, there are a couple high-end models that are still in the hundreds of dollars range, but for the most part, most of the EOS film cameras are gonna be 150 mo at, at max and all the way down to 30, 40 dollars. So that makes getting into film photography super accessible. That means you can get a lens and a camera body for around $150 or less. So let's take a look at my collection of EOS film cameras and you let me know which one you want to see videos on. This is the Canon EOS 630, one of the earliest EOS film cameras. I think it was the third one released if I'm not mistaken or around that. This is the Canon EOS Elon 2E. This is uh, from the 90s, early to mid 90s. This is the Canon A2E. It's also a 90s, 90s film camera. The Canon Rebel G. This is later in the 90s, I think, or maybe early 2000. Um, this is one of the more common ones that you'll see out there. And last but not least, this is the Canon EOS 1N. At the time it was released, it was the top of the line film camera, later on replaced by the EOS 1V. So one of my favorite things about the EOS film camera lineup is that I can share lenses between those and my 6D and 70D, which I'm shooting on now. So that's super convenient. So if I invest in one lens, like this 85 millimeter on this 60, I can pop this off and interchange it with the 50 millimeter nifty 50 that's on my EOS 1N now. I also like the EOS system because I feel at home with it. Since I have been using Canon DSLRs for so long, um, picking up these cameras uh, just feels comfortable for me and I can move quickly with them because there's a lot of the same design language and button layout and viewfinder information and such that carries through each model. The reality is you can't go wrong with almost any film camera out there from any brand, whether that's Nikon, Leica, Olympus, all of them can take quality pictures. I just choose to stick with the Canon products because I have money invested in it, I feel comfortable using it, and I don't see a ton of reason to switch. I'll use my experience with the Canon line of products to share information with you and give you some ideas on ways you can enter in the world of film photography by getting one of these low-cost bodies and getting a inexpensive lens and be off and running. This is my collection to start. There are still EOS cameras out there that I don't have, so I will continue to keep my eye out and try to collect more and more and make videos on those as well. But given what I've shown you, given the list that I'll put in the description, make a comment on what your priority of videos would be. Which camera do you want to hear about first, and what would you like me to test with it? Also, comment if you have an idea for a camera that I don't own that you want to see information about or learn more about, and I'll do my best to get that camera soon and do a review and talk about it. In the meantime, if you're already shopping for a film camera, um, you should know uh, two websites. You, you probably already know keh.com, but also go to usephotopro.com. I do have an affiliate link in, in the description, but I do shop from them all the time, and I also have sold cameras back to them. <clears throat> They're a great company that has dealt with used gear for a long time, and they have a really good grading system, much like KEH does. 
But the advantage of usephotoproduct.com is when you browse on their website, you get to see pictures of the actual item that you're ordering. And really this is a huge benefit because you get to zoom in on the picture and see the scuff marks or the scratches if it's a lens or the dust if it's a lens. It won't be a surprise when you receive your product if you've already seen some of the blemishes that are on it or lack thereof. That's it, I just wanted to give you an overview of my EOS film cameras and to get your input on which video you want to see first, second, third, and so on. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And also tell me what cameras you're shooting on if you're already shooting film. So that's it for now. I'm going to go out and shoot some more film and I'll check back and see what the comments say. Talk to you soon.